Sometimes when you have a lot of slides in your storyline course and you've opted to include a menu on your player like we see in the sidebar of this example, you might feel like having all of the items visible in the menu right from the get-go can look a little bit overwhelming to your learners. And if that's the case, one of the things that you can do is change the attributes of your menu so that not everything shows up in its expanded form right away. So we're going to see how you can do that. Let me go ahead and close the preview here. What we want to do is open up our Player Properties Manager. So we're going to select the Home tab and then click on this button called Player. And when the Player Properties Manager pops up, we're going to select the button called Menu. And here are a couple things you might want to consider. One of the things that you can do is go to this menu listing here at the left. And wherever you see a triangle here that's next to an expanded section of the menu, you can click on that triangle and that basically just rolls up that section so that it's collapsed or condensed. And you can see over here in the preview, the same thing has happened. So this first section is now condensed and we can also condense these other sections as well. And now in the preview, all three sections that were previously expanded are now collapsed. And this is exactly how this menu would look if we were to preview or publish. So what happens is when the learner gets to a particular section that you've condensed, that section the menu will expand so that all the slide titles in that section will become visible. But until the learner gets to that section, the titles will stay hidden or condensed like what we see here. Now a second tip that you might also be interested in is that you can click on this little gear icon down here at the bottom. And when you do that, you'll see this option here called Auto Collapse Menu as Learner Progresses. And what that means is when the learner moves out of a section of the menu that you've previously collapsed, that section will automatically condense or collapse again. So again, it's just kind of keeping things a little bit tidier and less overwhelming as the learner moves through your content. So with this Auto Collapse option turned on and with all of our sections over here condensed, Let's go ahead and take a look at how this course's menu would behave if we were to preview or publish. Okay, so the preview is almost done. Here's our first slide. And right now, I'm in the first section of my menu. So over here in the sidebar, you can see that this is the only section that's currently expanded, this first section, because that's the one that I'm in. Everything else is kind of buttoned up here. And I can see, you know, the scene titles but I'm not seeing all of the different slide titles within each of the scenes. Now I can move through the content here, you know, in my first section, but as soon as I move out of this section, like if I click on this section called review, see what happens there? The first section collapses. So I no longer see all the titles associated with that section. Now I'm only seeing the slide titles associated with the section that I'm in. In this case, it's only, you know, this one single slide. If I were to move back to my first section, the other one that's been closed up now, if I click on that, then this is the one that expands and the other one then collapses again. So those are a couple of tips for keeping your storyline menu a little bit more compact, a little bit more manageable looking if you don't want to always show every single slide title throughout the duration of your whole course.